Here we have one of those tricky distance, rate, and time problems. Uh, let me read the problem first. It says, a child is running on a moving sidewalk in an airport. When she runs against the sidewalk's motion, she travels 60 feet in 15 seconds. And when she runs with the sidewalk's motion, she travels 120 feet in the same amount of time. Okay, so first of all, that makes sense, right? If she's running against the sidewalk, she's going to get less far than if she runs with the motion of the sidewalk. And then it says, what is the rate of the child on a still sidewalk? That means just her regular running speed. And what is the rate of the moving sidewalk? So we've got two things we need to find. And I'm just going to um, create variables for those things. So we'll call how fast the child runs x and how fast the sidewalk moves y. Now, in these distance, rate, and time problems, they're all based on this formula, distance equals rate times time. And I find it super useful to set out all the information that you know in a chart and then see where the holes are and try to fill them in with the variables. So let's see here. Um, we've got two situations. So there's running against and there's running with. And when she's running against, she gets 60 feet for distance and time of 15 seconds. And when she's running with, she gets 120 feet. And the time is the same, so 15. All right, so we got two out of the three filled in for both. What is her rate for each of these situations? Well, her rate is her speed and either plus or minus the speed of the sidewalk. When she's moving against the sidewalk, it's like that speed of that sidewalk gets subtracted from her speed. So we'll put x minus y. When she's running with the sidewalk, it's her speed plus the speed of the sidewalk. All right. So now I've got all of these spots in the chart filled in. I'm just going to arrange them in two equations where distance equals rate times time. So the distance equals x minus y uh, times 15. <clears throat> and distance equals x plus y times 15. And I might as well multiply the 15 through there. So I get 60 equals 15x minus 15y. And 120 equals 15x plus 15y. And these two equations, this system, is set up just perfectly uh, to do the uh, elimination method. So what I'm going to do is just add these two equations together. 60 plus 120 is 180. Um, 15x plus 15x is 30x. And negative 15y plus 15y is nothing. So the y disappears. We get one equation with one variable. That's exactly what we wanted. So now we just have to divide by 30. It's the same as 18 divided by 3. So x is going to be 6. Now, what was x? That's the rate of the child on a still sidewalk. And how do we find out y here then? Well, we can plug it back into one of these equations. So um, if x is 6, we could put uh, in the 6 here. Or actually, we could just use one of these equations here. So 15 times 6. So that's 90. So 60, I'm just using this equation right here, equals 90 minus 15y. Now we subtract 90 from both sides. We get negative 30 over here and negative 15y over here. We divide by negative 15, we get y equals 2. So the speed of the child is 6, and this is feet per second and the speed of the sidewalk is 2 feet per second. So that's a little work with these tricky distance, rate, and time problems. Hope that helps.